you come up against legal and practical issues every day. QuickCall gives you direct access to our team of specialist education advisors. Your queries will be resolved quickly and with certainty of cost. As we're now approaching round three of the Teaching School programme, schools often ask us what models there are available to help them support their Teaching School Alliance activities. For me, there's four main models. Model one is an informal arrangement, and many of the early teaching schools have adopted just that. Stage two would be perhaps a memorandum of understanding. This would be a non-legally binding document that sets out how the arrangement's going to work. Finally, and increasingly we're seeing schools more attracted to a more formal option, is having a legally binding alliance agreement which sets out the core rights and obligations of the teaching school and its core partners. You can then additionally have a memorandum of understanding between the teaching school and its wider alliance members. The final option is that some teaching schools, as they're looking to trade more, are setting up an associated company to help them deliver the various services and training that they're providing.